used to be an admin assistant. I did some temping, right? That's the only job I could get instead of Starbucks. <laughs> They're like, you will let you temp, <laughs> enter data. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, no, I can do stuff with data. I'm not Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, yeah, that was one of the reasons why I accepted that job, by the way, was because it is an office job where I'm doing something with data, Fair. Um, which was yeah, a good get, move you, in hindsight. You get the line. Yeah, no, completely. It's interesting because... Um, I don't know when, like when the, the breakoff point is, but at some point it's like, you know, getting that first like wheel of momentum, that first flywheel um, is so important. So yeah, in, the, in hindsight, you're like, oh, that actually probably, you know, helped directly or indirectly, or at least it got like in the ecosystem. And if we're talking to people who are trying to figure out what's their first step on the rung, um, mm-hmm. you know, f- find it <laughs> and then, and then make it work, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, in, in, uh- talk briefly about another example like yeah. Jenny who we mentioned in this podcast her first job was at Blue Ocean here in Halifax and you know working at a call center doesn't sound glorious but through that she was able to learn a kind of complex mm. information technology and then apply for a cloud architecture job uh, that then became you know a more senior job at a more narrow firm anyways she's you know she's 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 currently the professional services manager and a principal professional services um, engineer at a really interesting company based out of the United States. Uh, and it started with Blue Ocean, right? And she, it wasn't really her degree that got her that because her degree was like sociology and uh, English literature in German. She had a minor in German. <laughs> but yeah, it, it can, it is doable. Sometimes it's very hard to predict how your career will go oh my gosh, if you're totally. entrepreneurial about those opportunities. Yeah, I mean, entrepreneurial, and you can be entrepreneurial in a corporate mindset or in a, you know, like an organizational concept, because it's, you know, your entrepreneurship is your tools, it's your helping, it's how do I create more value than I cost? How can I solve problems? How can I identify problems that are worthy to be solved? Um, And that no skill set is wasted. Honestly, I think one of my best ways that I developed a skill set was Red Lobster. Mm. Like, um going up and meeting new people and talking to them and being the initiator Mm -hmm. is something that I still find difficult like today. Um, But people would be maybe surprised to hear that. But I think it's because I had three years of like being like, hi, welcome to Red Lobster. (laughs) How's your night going? What brings you here? Like, what are we eating tonight? Ooh, do you want to pick this lobster? You know, just like getting in there and engaging and also reading people, like reading the ability. Like when you see somebody who has like the fuck off face, like you're, they're like, oh, we, we don't want to talk to you. It's like, okay, that's cool. Like, how can we like, get you what you need in the least amount of time possible. And I can go spend my attention like other places. So, you know, it's not the title. It's not necessarily the money. Um, it's like, what, what are we building towards and knowing that whatever you're doing is going to build towards the next thing. So do it well and do it with pride. 